Now, YouTuber Lin Gugi is not aware why her name and her picture appeared on our screens among the Azimio Technical Committee in the Kenya Kwanza Azimio Dialogue. This is what Lin Gugi said. But before that, yesterday, 13 August, Citizen TV were listing the new Azimio Technical Committee on the 9 p.m. Sunday Live News Hour. They mentioned the Jubilee Party Jeremiah Kioni will lead a team of four, among them Adams Olu, Zain Abubakar, and Lin Gugi, displaying the name and a picture of the popular YouTuber Lin Gugi. This caught my attention and I decided to do my research since the last time I left, Isabel Gidinji was the fourth person in Azimio's technical team. I successfully drew an article shared by The Standard on August 13, 2023, written by Brian Otieno, read, and I quote, Azimio yesterday disowned Isabel Gidinji as a member of the technical committee, replacing her with Ngugi. Gidinji was listed in a previous statement issued by the opposition coalition. End of quote. The standards article also listed Lin Gugi's name among the Azimio's team, which read these, and I quote, Azimio said, which comprised Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni, Adams Olu, Zain Abubakar, and Lin Gugi will hold its final meeting today. They have met since Friday evening. End of quote. Remember, the article was dated 13th August. Now, caught unaware, Lin Gugi shared a screenshot on her Instagram page of the broadcasted news on Citizen TV, and she wrote this, and I quote, My people, how do you want me to represent you here? Hey, not sure how my name stroke image made it here, but it must be a technical error. Or maybe it's God saying I need an interview with these two leaders on real issues affecting our country. That will be great in brackets. Just to clarify, I am not involved in the above, but I am grateful real conversations are taking place. It's about time. End of quote. How and why do you think Lin Gugi's name and a picture was shared by Citizen TV and mentioned by the Standards article? Down the comment section is where I'll enjoy reading your comments. But in the meantime, this is some Cuba news.